Woman takes DNA test, finds out mom has lied her whole life. A mistake? Now it was her turn. She logged in and took a deep breath. The pie chart started to load and she looked at it carefully again and again. Suddenly she could feel her heart beating at a furious gallop and she was starting to feel faint. There must have been some kind of mistake, she stammered, pointing at her results. Tracing her roots New Yorker Michelle has always had a fascination with her roots. She's traced her ancestry from her father's side back to the 1600s, but she always wanted to take her research further. But in order to do that, she'd have to take a DNA test done through a DNA database, which would be costly. So she put her dreams on the back burner until one fateful day. Michelle and Jason were at a point in their lives where they had started to make plans for the future. Although money was tight, Michelle longed to go back to school. But how could she afford it? Then she remembered something her father had said, and that set her on a path that would change her life forever. Ancestry Michelle remembered that she'd been told that she had Native American heritage on her father's side, and she realized that this might be her only option to continue with her studies. Native Americans and even people with a high percentage of Native American DNA were eligible for scholarships. Little did Michelle know her world was about to be turned upside down. Excited to find out more about her ancestry, Michelle and her partner Jason decided to order Ancestry.com home DNA kits as early Christmas presents for themselves. They were, after all, an investment. If Michelle had a high amount of Native American DNA in her results, she could continue with her studies. The stakes were high, but taking the test wasn't as easy as the couple had anticipated. It was daunting, Michelle said later in an interview with The Guardian. It took us like 20 minutes, and the more we laughed, the harder it was to do, she recalled. We joked about sending them sweetener samples to see if it still works. After a lot of giggling and difficulty, the couple eventually managed to fill the vials with saliva. The very next day, they sent their test kits back to Ancestry.com. Waiting Michelle waited for the results excitedly. She felt like a little girl on Christmas morning. She couldn't wait to see what her lab results turned up. And just six weeks later, she was notified by Ancestry.com that her results were in. She waited for Jason to come home before opening them. She wanted them to do it together. As soon as they were settled in bed after the long day of waiting, Michelle opened her laptop. Jason logged in and seemed nonplussed. The results of his Ancestry test were pretty much what he expected. Now it was Michelle's turn. She logged in quickly and waited for the pie chart to load. Then her heart started to race. There was no Native American ancestry in her results. But there was something else. But how could this be? According to the results, she was almost 50% Italian. But that couldn't be right. Her mother and father had been European. She nodded her head frantically and stammered, there must have been some kind of mistake. Hard Truths I was dumbfounded, like, well, that's a huge mistake. They must have mixed mine up with someone else's, Michelle explained. But the results were there in black and white. My husband looks through it, then he says, Honey, they didn't make a mistake. This is you. And then Michelle's world started to fall apart. I just got very quiet. All these things from my past suddenly started going through my head. Questions, feelings, things that couldn't be explained. Things that my mother would get angry or defensive about if I brought them up, Michelle recalled. I started to realize, I think I've discovered a secret. And it was a secret that her mother had kept for her whole life. Confrontation Michelle, who hadn't spoken to her mother in two years, dialed her number and took a deep breath. She needed answers. But getting them wasn't going to be easy. All Michelle's mom could say when she confronted her about her Italian ancestry was that there must have been a mistake and that the results were impossible. Michelle was left frustrated and with no more insights than she'd had before. Michelle then noticed her Ancestry.com account had been automatically linked to people living in Syracuse, New York, where she'd grown up. But these people were strangers to her. However, Ancestry.com was adamant that they were actually her first cousins. Michelle's head reeled with all the new information. But how was she going to cope with the fact that her life had been a lie? The key. The next morning after a restless night, Michelle called her aunt, hoping that she would be more open about her mother's life. She'd only been 10 years old when her sister had gotten pregnant at 18, 
but she hoped she could shed some light on the baffling DNA test results. And her memories proved invaluable for the journey Michelle was about to embark on. A match. Michelle asked her aunt if she remembers her sister ever dating an Italian boy. She recalls the earth-shattering revelation. I'm looking at the last name, 100% match, first cousin. And my aunt says, the only guy I remember who comes to mind is her prom date. And she says that same surname. I stood up. My laptop went to the floor. I dropped my phone and I ran to the bathroom and started vomiting. The name was Richie Primerano. Devastating news. But her revelations weren't about to end there. She immediately got on the phone with her estranged mother and had the conversation she would never forget. Her mother denied that her prom date all those years ago could possibly be the father. Then she broke some earth-shattering news. Even if he was your father, it wouldn't matter. He died last year in a motorcycle accident. That's how I found that out. It was very cruel, Michelle explained. She trawled the Internet for her biological father's obituary, and when she finally found it, her heart broke into a million pieces when she saw the photograph. It was literally a male version of me, she said, tearfully. Her head spun with emotions. First, she had to expose her mother's lie. Confirmed. Michelle then contacted the man she believed to be her father for her entire life. Convincing him to assist her in taking a paternity test wasn't easy. They both knew that the results could change their lives and indeed their relationship forever. But when the results were finally in, they only confirmed what Michelle had suspected all along. Tests don't lie. Michelle and her father were devastated by the news, but their relationship, instead of weakening, only grew stronger. The man she'd called father for her whole life was still her father. He'd raised her, and no paternity test could ever take that away from her. Then she decided to make a hard decision. Finding her truth. She knew in her heart that she needed to meet her real family. It was important to Michelle to know where she'd come from. She'd been too late to meet her biological father, but she had other family members in upstate New York. So she reached out to them and explained her story. When they saw her face, they knew that she was Richie's child. Reaching out. In August of 2016, Michelle traveled to Syracuse and met her relatives for the first time. And her nana was thrilled to find out she had a granddaughter. Michelle's uncle even took her to her father's grave. It took me at least a couple weeks to recover, Michelle recalled but they welcomed me with open arms. No regrets. While Michelle was greeted with open arms by her long family, it was a wild roller coaster of emotions. There have been times when I'm just kind of breaking down and so angry and sad that I say I wished I'd never opened Pandora's box, she said. But she finally knows the truth that her mother had tried to keep from her for her entire life, and she has no regrets.